Hello everyone. So welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's class we will discuss about sources of contamination during seed production. So which are all the contaminant sources which will cause the genetic deterioration as well as the reduction in the quality of seed. So let us start. There are mainly two types of sources of contamination. The first one is physical contaminants and the second one genetical contaminants. So whereas physical contaminants includes inseparable other crop plants, objectionable weed plants and diseased plants. Whereas genetic uh, contaminants which includes of types, pollen shedders and shedding tassels. Let us see one by one. So what do you mean by of type? So of type is nothing but it's a plant which is differing morphological characters from the rest of the populations of a crop variety. So any significant deviations in the morphological character of a plant from rest of the populations of a crop variety, that plant is called as off type. So off type maybe belongs to the same species or different species of a given variety. And the plants of different varieties are also included as uh, off types. And the volatile plants and mutants, they are also considered as off types. So then what do you mean by volunteer plants? Volunteer plants are the plants of the same kind which are growing naturally from the seed that remains in the field from a previous season crop. So plants which are growing naturally from the previous season crop. So that those plants are called as the volunteer plants. So for a clear cut uh, understanding, so off type, consider this is a paddy field. You can see in this uh, picture, this is a paddy field. So you can see the uh, highlighted plants, so which are called as off type. Why? Because these are the main uh, pore which are highlighted. They are showing some morphological differences in the character. Uh, it may be in the height, uh, shape, color, so another morphological characters of the plant, they are differed from the rest of the uh, remaining population of a same variety. So these plants are called as off type. The plants which are showing morphological deviations or differences from the rest of the populations of a variety, those are the off types. The next source of contaminant is pollen shutter. So in case of a hybrid sheet production which involves the or male sterility or the phytoplasmic genetic male sterility which includes A line, B line, R line. So under such condition, the presence of B line in A line. So that is called as the pollen shedders. And sometimes A lines, they will exhibit the symptoms of fertility of anthers in the ear heads or either on the main tillers or on the side tillers. So those are also called as the partials. Partials are nothing but the A line which tends to exhibit symptoms of fertile anthers. Those A lines are called as partials. Usually A lines are sterile. The A lines should not produce any pollen grain. They, they are, they are uh, non-fertile or they are male sterile. So sometimes due to some environmental factors and other climatic conditions, these A lines also show some uh, fertility and they will start to produce anthers. Those plants are called as partials. Then the next source of contamination is shedding tassels. So shedding tassels are nothing but these are the plants which sheds the pollen grain in the female parent row. In case of a hybrid seed production of a mage, so especially in case of mage, the plants which sheds the pollen grain in the female row those plants are called as the shedding tassel. Ultimately, they will cause the genetic deterioration. And the next source of contamination is inseparable other crop plants. So these are the plants of different crops which have a seeds similar to the seed crop. For example, in case of wheat, the other inseparable crop plants are barley, oat, gram and triticale. So these are other inseparable other crop plants, once they are mixed with the wheat, it is difficult to separate because of their similar shape, size, color as that of the seed crop. And the next source of contamination is objectionable weed plants. So objectionable weed plants, these are the weeds 
Two seats are difficult to separate once they are mixed because of their similar uh, characters as that of the seed crop. Once they are mixed with the other seed, it is difficult to separate. And also they are very uh, poisonous to human as well as animal health. And they have smothering or the competitive effect on the main crop for nutrients and the water which are uh, difficult to eradicate once they are established in your field. And also it is difficult to separate the seeds because of their um, similar characters as well of the crown variety and ultimately they cause the mechanical admixtures. So these are some of the uh, characters of objectionable weed plants. For example, in case of a weed, wild morning glory. So wild morning glory, it's a objectionable weed plant in case of wheat. So in case of rapeseed and mustard, Mexican prickly poppy. So this is the objectionable weed plant in case of rapeseed and mustard. So next source of contamination is designated diseases. So these are the diseases which may reduce the yield and the quality of a seed as well. So those diseases are termed as the designated diseases. And the example is uh, for sorghum, a grain smut of sorghum or head smut. So these uh, diseases act as a designated diseases. Once the sorghum is infested with these um, diseases, so ultimately these diseases will reduce the yield and the quality of the seed of sorghum. And also the other factors to be observed during the field inspections of the seed production are the land requirement. Land requirement is nothing but the field which we taken for the certified seed production that should not be sown with the same crop in the previous season. Otherwise, it will lead to the development of volunteer plants so that there will be a contamination with the volunteer plants. So, if we grow the same uh, crop in the previous season, then it should be of same variety. So, otherwise, you have to irrigate the whole land or whole field at least three weeks before the sowing. And float just prior to the sowing in order to destroy all germinated seeds of the volunteer plants. So this is about the land requirement. Then the next one is the isolation. Isolation is nothing but the separation of a seed field from the fields of other varieties of the same crop or same variety fields which are not conforming to the varietal purity requirements and other related species fields and also the fields affected by the diseases and the pest attack. So as to prevent the genetic as well as the disease contamination for further in the further period. So the main objective of isolation is to prevent the cross pollination and the mechanical admixtures. Again in the isolation there are three types. The first one distance isolation which is also called as a spatial isolation then time isolation, which is temporal isolation, then the physical barrier isolation. So what do you mean by distance isolation? Distance isolation is nothing but, it's a minimum distance that has to be maintained between the seed crop and the contaminant crop. So as to avoid the natural cross pollination as well as the mechanical mixtures. So you can see in this picture, this is isolation distance. So the crop should be Isolated from the neighbor farmer field, if the neighbor farmers they are growing the same crop of a different variety or a different hybrids, then the isolation has to be given. So you can see in this picture clearly the isolation distances are provided to avoid the cross pollination and the admixtures. So isolation distance should be more in case of if a cross pollinated crop. For a cross pollinated crop, we have to provide the more isolation distance than that of the cell pollinated crop. So in case of a hybrid seed production, isolation distance is more than that of a varietal production. And also, if the class of a seed is higher, then the isolation distance is also should be more. So higher the class of seed, then higher the distance or more the distance. You can see here, so this is a time isolation. What do you mean by time isolation? It is nothing but adjusting the date of sowing so that there should not be any a synchronization in the floric period of your seed crop with that of the neighbor farmer's crop. So you can see in this picture, 
So this is the field one. Consider it is mine. So I have shown the 21 days later than that of the field two. So field two belongs to someone or some other farmers. They have shown 21 days uh, before than that of the field one. So that there will not be any coincidence or synchrony of the flowering stage. So that there is no cross contamination and also we can produce the genetically pure crop. The next one is physical barrier isolation. So physical barrier isolation is nothing but growing the heighted plants and tall densely growing plants all around the bunch of the field so that these barrier crops will act as a barrier and also prevents the unwanted cross contamination with the neighbor farmers field. So you can see the dhyancha uh, you can go for either the planting of the densely growing plants all around the bunch otherwise you can also go for installation of the polythene sheets of 3 meter height so that they act as a barrier uh, to cross contamination. You can see in this picture the barrier crops are grown all around the, the seed field. So mainly the barrier crops you can go for sorghum or sugarcane, the hencha. So these can these crops can be used as a border crops. So you can also see in this picture maize thereafter soybean and the rice. So rice is mainly uh, protected from the natural cross pollination are uh, mechanical admixtures by the border crops such as mesh and the soybean. So this table shows the isolation distance in the different crops. In case of wheat and paddy, for foundation seed and the certified seed, it is of 3 meter. In green ground, 10 meter for foundation and 5 meter for certified seed. In case of soybean, it is 3 3 in both the classes of seed. So in case of groundnut, 3 meter for foundation, 3 meter for certified. In tomato, 50 meter and 25 meter. So lettuce, 50 meter and the 25 meter in certified seed. So in most of the pulses, the isolation distance is for foundation seed is 10 meter and for certified seed is 5 meter. So in case of potato, it is 5 meter and 5 meter. In Zorkam, if it is a variety, 200 meter for foundation, 100 meter for certified seed. Zorkam, if it is hybrid, 300 meter for foundation and 200 meter for certified seed. If the field is uh, infested with the Johansson grass, then remember the isolation distance for Zorkam field is 400 meter. If the field is infested with Johansson grass, then red ground. 200 meter, 100 meter, then the salmon, 150, then cotton variety, 50 and 30, brinjal, 200 and 100, chili, 400, 200, then bendy, 400, 200. So in case of mesh uh, variety, it is 400, 200, then bajra, 400, 200, if it is a bajra hybrid, then 1000 meter in case of foundation seed, 200 meter in certified seed. Sanham 200 and 100, Castor 300 and 150, then sunflower variety 400, 200, if the sunflower hybrid 600, 400 meter, then cabbage, beetroot, radish, in all these three, 1600 meter for foundation, 1000 meter for certified seed. So in cauliflower, it is 1000 meter for foundation, 500 meter for certified. Onion, 1000 meter and 800 meter. So carrot, 400 and the amaranthus, 1000 in case of foundation seed. So these are some of the uh, contaminants, the sources of contaminants which will cause the genetic deterioration of a crop variety during seed production. So thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe my channel. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section.